Hello, on this video I'm going to show you how to, uh, you can change the PHP INI template and how to include your uh, library path uh, so you can share libraries you have uh, already on PHP language. For this sample, uh, or for this, what you need to, to do is to go to the PHP folder you have on, on your RAD PHP XE. Uh, set up, in my case this is a development machine and you need to search for the PHP INI template and you need to open this file this is uh, the PHP configuration file and uh, search for the include path directive here as you can see there are some uh, macros or some uh, variables you can use and this is the path where RPCL is located and you can place uh, libraries inside the uh, RPCL path if, if you need it but usually you will want to place your folder or whatever in this case see my library we're going to create my library. Okay. And um, now, if you run rad PHP, we are going to create a new unit. This is function included function. This text is output from an in cloud. Okay, and I'm going to save this on the my library folder. So this is my in cloud script. So now you have on see my library your uh, uh, my in cloud script with a function. There is a bug here. Okay. So now you can work in create a project or whatever and I'm going to save this on the projects folder for rad PHP and now you can include my included script PHP and if you invoke the code inside you will get the function you have uh, on the included a script you uh, created before so you can use it okay we are going to call the function everything works all the code inside because uh, the ID uh, looks on this file for these paths so uh, this is the file you need to modify and when you run this works as expected okay so as you can see it's very easy you need just to modify a simple configuration file and you can uh, use on your applications uh, PHP uh, functions and PHP libraries you have on other folders okay